Welcome back to Interiors. I'm here with your meteorologist, Catherine Schwalm. On this Monday morning, Catherine, the weekend, some showers, some, some days without showers, but today, this morning, are we seeing some sun, clouds? What's it looking like? Cloudy start. We're going yeah. to see the clouds decreasing, but I know everyone's asking what's happening tonight. Yeah, and yeah we're keeping <laughs> our eyes on that system still, but the trends really have been to the south. We've been seeing this ever since yesterday. We're continuing to see the same trends going into this morning, but we still do have a bit to talk about. Let's start off with today, though. Our Cardinal Sky came looking beautiful as ever. We're starting off dry this morning as we've been seeing dry conditions ever since yesterday. So not too much to talk about going into today. Your temperatures are starting off in the upper 20s. In those lower 30s this morning, we're at 32 in Bath, 31 up towards the Ithaca region, and 27 in Tioga and Mansfield, Pennsylvania. So once again, a cool start to the day, and we're starting off with a bit of cloud cloud cover too. Now as the day goes on, these clouds will be pulling back and we'll see a bit of sunshine peeking out here and there. And taking a look at your date planner today, we're starting off in the 30s. We'll quickly rise through the 30s and into the mid 40s, getting into the afternoon hours with a mix of sun and clouds. So not too much to talk about on your Monday. We're not looking at any active weather during the daytime, but let's check ahead to the evening hours because that's when we're talking about our next system. Now we're looking dry. This is 5 p.m. Monday night. The system will be working its way into the mid Atlantic, going into the overnight hours and into your Tuesday morning. And as you can see, See on our NAM track or our surface analysis, we're going to see the system brushing, and I mean brushing the twin tiers very close here in that northern tier of Pennsylvania. This is into 6 a.m. Tuesday by about 4 p.m., 5 p.m. Well, that system's out of here. So as you can see, this is a pretty quick mover, but let's take a closer look at this system. This is starting off at 10 p.m. Monday night. We're still looking dry. Let's get into midnight hours. Well, here comes that edge of that system. This is at 4 a.m. Tuesday morning. So especially that northern tier of Pennsylvania, Wellsboro, Blossburg, Tawanda, New Albany, Troy. You guys are looking at the snow going into that Tuesday morning commute. We could see some of the edge creeping its way into that southern tier of New York, but otherwise we're looking at dry conditions for much of the southern tier of New York. Is that northern tier Pennsylvania will likely see the snow continuing into that 6 a.m. hour as well as the 8 a.m. hour, but it pretty much exits the region going into the mid morning hours and we'll go. We're going to see mostly cloudy skies throughout the rest of your Tuesday, but due to the shift in winds out of the north, we could see some lake enhanced snow showers going into Tuesday night. Other than that, not too much to talk about. Winter weather advisory though, in effect for Tioga County of New York, as well as Chemung County of New York. This goes until midnight until about 1 p.m. Tuesday. Winter storm warnings will still be in effect for those northern tier counties. That again starts at 7 p.m. tonight and goes until the midday hours going into Tuesday. Let's take a look at that snow accumulation. This is going into Wednesday morning, so that's going to count again for those lake enhanced snow showers we are going to see. Generalizing, we're looking at most of that northern tier of Pennsylvania seeing upwards of three inches possible, but much of the area could see upwards of just one inch of snowfall, and that's going into Wednesday morning. So stay tuned for updates. We'll have the latest details on air and online. We're looking dry today, partly sunny, mild, and a high of 44. We're seeing at 38 on Tuesday with the chance for snow in the morning, followed by mostly cloudy skies. Valentine's Day for anyone heading out, maybe make sure you bring a coat. 31 degrees for your high, partly sunny. We'll see your next chance for snow showers on Thursday with a high of 38. Once again, we'll dry it out on Friday, but our next system moves in on Saturday with another round of snow showers possible.